Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we're gonna be talking about an Arctic blast that's gonna bring much colder temperatures and snow. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. Here is the overall uh, temperatures this morning. In fact, these are record cold temperatures. We're talking April the 10th here. And yeah, all the way up here in Alaska, we've had record cold temperatures. In fact, uh, Anchorage, Alaska hit 27 degrees this morning. And a lot of that colder air will start funneling in down into the United States over the next uh, week or two. So let me, let me kind of get right to it. Here's the overall latest uh, teleconnections. And you can definitely see, here's the NAO, which is the North Atlantic Oscillation. Uh, and for the next two weeks, I mean, right around the 11th here, it starts to dip uh, negative and it remains neutral to negative for predominantly the next two weeks. That's going to allow some of that colder temperatures uh, to funnel down into the U.S. And the AO is kind of implying the same thing. I mean, it's got neutral to negative over the next uh, two weeks. And now let's take a look at the PNA. Here's your uh, Pacific North uh, American here. And it's negative, so that implies a lot of that colder air will, will be originating into the western part of the U.S. But as we get into the middle of the month, it changes more to uh, neutral to uh, positive, And that pretty much puts the shifting that colder temperatures into the central and then probably eventually getting into the eastern uh, two-thirds of the U.S. And the EPO is basically implying the same thing that it's positive now but by the time we get into the middle of the month a lot of that colder core will be centered over the central u.s and then eventually shift a little bit further uh, eastward as we get beyond uh, the middle of the month so let me kind of take you walk you through the overall uh, surface map uh, for later today and yeah we have all those storms that push through uh, overnight and now later on today well, that, those storms will continue uh, shifting off into the east that's going to bring some uh, rain uh, and a lot of lightning down here in the Florida Panhandle uh, getting into uh, Georgia getting into the Carolinas today up here in, into the Ohio Valley and swinging around into uh, Ohio where those uh, that rain will continue uh, shifting off to the east and by the time we get into Sunday that rain shifts a little bit further south now we're talking to places into central Florida. It's going to be getting those heavier rains after you've been seeing much, you know, drier uh, conditions over the last, you know, several weeks. Uh, but then that that those rains will continue to shift off and lift off into uh, the northeast here, into New York, getting into uh, much of uh, you know Massachusetts here as this continues. Uh, shifting off into the east later later on today and kind of that wraparound uh, moisture into Wisconsin, get into Illinois, into uh, Indiana as well. And then as we continue to shift uh, into Monday, uh, you can see those colder temperatures well to the north. I mean, look at that, 1042 Arctic high pressure. That is some definitely some colder air. Uh, 1034 Arctic high pressure up in Canada where the snow is flying. And then rain out, out ahead of it into Wisconsin, uh, getting into uh, the northeast as that low pressure continues uh, shifting off uh, to the east as, as we get into uh, Monday. And here's your temperatures Monday. So it's going to be kind of a step down process. Those 20 below average anomalies will start creeping down into uh, the U.S., uh, getting into Montana, getting into uh, North Dakota, where they've had some of those record high temperatures. So 20 degrees below average is going to be a, a big change of what you've been experiencing over the last week. And that colder temperatures will start shifting further south and start in, entering into Texas. And then warmer temperatures uh, add ahead of it into the, to the southeast. But yeah, by the time we get into Tuesday, those purples just kind of expand over the northern uh, U.S., 
bring those 20 below average temperatures a little bit further south, creeping down into uh, uh, Colorado, creeping down into Kansas here. Uh, this 10 to 15 below average temperatures will be into uh, Texas, creeping down into uh, 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 Dallas here, into central, the central Texas. I mean, a lot of these areas experienced, you know, if not record, 103 degrees uh, yesterday in Del Rio, Texas. So we're, when you're talking, you know, 10 to 15 degrees below average, that's going to be a, a huge change of what you've just experienced uh, with those record, uh, those record high uh, temperatures as those uh, warmer anomalies uh, continue trying to hang on by Tuesday uh, for, for the southeast uh, getting into Florida. But time, by the time we get into Tuesday on the surface map, with that colder air in place, that's going to bring the snow uh, a little bit further south. So yeah, we're talking snow into uh, Wyoming here, back into Colorado, and even places like Denver again are going to be starting to see more uh, snow flying uh, for them. And down to the south, we're going to actually bring some much needed rain, not not severe weather, or just talking rain. And uh, Texas and much of central Texas, where they've actually been missing out on the rain, and west Texas. So these are just going to be some, you know, normal April showers that you would normally see in April, uh, besides all the severe stuff. But yeah, with the colder air around next week, I'm not really seeing uh, too much uh, severe weather we're going to be to, having to deal with. Just some heavier rains here uh, by the coast, uh, setting up into New Orleans, and especially as you get into the Florida Panhandle you know, as we go throughout the week. But yeah, those colder temperatures are going to feel really nice as it continues to shift a little bit further south, getting more into Texas. Those 20 degree below average temperatures will be over the Texas panhandle into Wex, Texas, as those cooler temperatures will sink all the way down into the coast now with those 10 to 15 degree, you know, below average an anomalies uh, as we get into uh, Wednesday here. And then as we go into Wednesday, uh, the, those, uh, that snow will, will continue to fly into Idaho, into Montana, uh, you know, getting back into uh, Wyoming again with, again, some just more April showers back into Texas. And like I mentioned, along the coast here into uh, Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, especially as you get into Florida Panhandle, into Central Florida, that's going to be setting the stage for kind of a relentless amount of, you know, daily rain, sh rain showers will be adding up over time and could be talking flooding rains by the time we get into uh, the, you know, the end of the week time frame. But by Thursday, those colder temperatures will con again continue to shift a little bit further south. That's bringing those below average anomalies a little bit further south, getting extended into the southeast. You can definitely see the northeast continues to remain uh, warm above average, but the southeast gets into the pictures uh, for those below average anomalies. But out west here, that's where we're going to be starting to see the warm up uh, with the PNA starting to go uh, positive now. That implies the warmer temperatures going to start shifting back into uh, off the west, so places into Washington, into Oregon, into California again, we'll start seeing those above average uh, uh, temperature anomalies by the time we get into Thursday. And here's your surface map on Thursday where that snow just shifts a little bit further east into Montana, getting into Wyoming again. So these totals are going to be adding up uh, throughout the week and these daily rain showers you know, over Oklahoma into Texas. So we're not talking, you know, heavier rains or severe storms or anything like that. We're just talking daily uh, rain showers kind of kind of throughout the week. And then as we go into uh, a Friday, yeah, there's your, uh, you know, Climate Prediction Center, you know, from the 15th through the 19th, having those that core of the cold, you know, essentially into the central U.S. So much of the U.S. is going to be experiencing those below average temperatures you know, from the 15th uh, through the 19th without West, uh, you know, having those above average temperatures where Florida continues trying to hang on uh, with those uh, above average temperatures as well. But yeah, as we get into, uh, you know, the 16th on Friday, yeah, those that colder push will continue to shift south. Those below average anomalies will be centered over the central U.S., and just on the coast here, you can see above average off the west coast, above average off the east coast into the northeast as this cold push shifts more southeast, not towards uh, the, the northeast. 
<clears throat> so but as we get into friday so yeah there's your snow will continue to shift and like i mentioned these will be adding up to some pretty healthy totals uh you know throughout the week and to montana you know getting into wyoming again and again that daily kind of daily rain showers into the central u.s over you know kansas over oklahoma getting into texas again where those uh, flooding rains will be setting up for the deeper south there's your there's your anomalies by the time we get into saturday we're talking next saturday the 17th so you can see this this colder temperatures or below average temperatures will continue to hang on and just kind of amplify throughout the week and it sinks sinks all the way down to the coast with uh with those below average uh, anomalies and yeah by the time we get into saturday there's your heavier rains uh, setting up over uh, florida into the central uh, central florida again so the, yeah these could be adding up uh to some heavier totals over a period of time but then if we extend it even further than that by the 17th to the 23rd from the latest uh, climate prediction center again has those colder anomalies central over the central u.s and to the eastern two-thirds getting into the ohio valley with the west continuing to warm up uh, out, out for them so those colder temperatures will hang on for a good chunk over the next uh, two weeks and here's your rain over the over the next uh, week with those heavier rains uh, setting up over Florida into the central Florida and some of these in central Florida could be picking up upwards to almost 10 inches of rain over the next week so that is some flooding rains down here but you can see in Texas here yeah those so those rains will be starting a little bit further further out uh, west now into west texas into central texas even in the southern texas where they do need the rain a lot of these places are in a drought even some portions of an exceptional drought uh, but yeah some of those heavier rains will be over missouri into uh, illinois getting into wisconsin getting into michigan parts of uh, pennsylvania parts of new york you know uh, throughout the week and it's very dry remains very dry into oregon into california off the southwest coast here but here's your snow i mean like i mentioned there's you could be adding up to these totals in a big way and a lot of these could be over a foot of snow into montana uh, getting into wyoming getting back into colorado so places yes yeah, so even denver could be picking up easily six inches plus you know throughout the week uh with these more snow uh, on the way for them and up here in canada too so that's your some of your higher totals some of your double digit totals where those colder temperatures are going to continue uh to hang on for you guys so hey i i appreciate you guys uh watching do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after the storm